Hey, what's going on everyone and uh, welcome to another video. In this video, um, I'm going to show you how to create a multi-boot USB drive with Xiaomi. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing is to go over to Xiaomi. Uh, so the address is pendrivelinux.com forward slash Xiaomi uh, dash multi-boot USB creator. And uh, scroll to the bottom um, here they have two versions. Uh, the first one is Xiaomi 2.0 and the second one is Xiaomi UEFI 0.0.2. Uh, I would advise you to get uh, the Xiaomi UEFI. This one, I've tried them both. Uh, I've completed the process of creating a multiple USB drive using both of them. And that one has advantage of the other one and, 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 and uh, vice versa. The uh, the first one, which is this one, uh, doesn't have full support for UEFI. At least uh, in my uh, experience, I had to enable legacy boot in order to be able to boot uh, from a USB drive make, uh, made out of uh, UMI uh, 2.0. So if you want full support of UEFI, download the second one. Uh, the process is pretty much the same. So go ahead and download one. And so the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to start Yummy. So I'm going to right click on Yummy, run as administrator. And uh, first you will present it with this screen. So I'm going to click agree. And next I'm going to make sure that I have my um, USB flash drive inserted in, into my uh, computer. I'm going to make sure also that I select the right USB drive. You don't want to make the wrong selection here. You can click on show all drive. If you uh, click on that drop down menu, you're going to see a lot more drives. So a good way to find uh, whether or not you are selecting the right um, USB drive is to go into my, um, into this manager and take a look at the drive that you have uh, connected into your computer, usually um, it'll give you uh, a letter associated with that drive. So when you select it here, you make sure you select that letter, okay? So that's one thing that I wanted to point out. The next thing that I wanted to point out is that the first time, the first um, ISO that you're going to copy into the flash drive, you need to format your flash drive. So I'm going to select FAT32. I'm going to format my drive as FAT32 and next, I am going to select the ISO image that I want to copy. Notice that Yumi has a uh, big selection of ISO images that I can detect, although you are responsible for downloading the ISO images. I already went ahead and downloaded the ISO images beforehand. Uh, my selection that I, that, that you know, is a must to have for me on my USB flash drive, one is Colonsilla. So I already downloaded that one. The other one is uh, System Rescue CD. Another one is Highland Boot CD. This is a uh, PE or pre-install environment. It's a slimmed down version of Windows. Uh, very good to repair Windows system. Uh, the other one is uh, Online NT Password and Registry Editor. This is uh, very good for resetting password. Um, and a few other ones, but these are my uh, uh, my choice. So let's go back into uh, Yummy. Once you download those ISOs, I'm going to start by selecting System Rescue CD. Usually it's under System Tools. Now, if I click on Browse, it's going to take me to the to the folder where I have my or I need to browse to the folder where I have my ISO images. Uh, Yomi is pretty good at detecting the ISO that you want to add based on the selection that you made beforehand. So I'm going to click this, click open, and I'm going to click create. Uh, now I'm going to get this box that is going to tell me the steps that Yomi is going to take in order to uh, copy the, uh, to install Yomi and copy the ISO. Okay, so I'm going to click yes. And at this point, uh, it's installing. So I'm going to pause for a second and I will be right back. All right, once it's done copying the first ISO, I'm going to click next 
It's going to ask me if I want to create or add another distro. So I'm going to click yes. And that is going to take me to the previous uh, window. Again, select the same process. And this time I'm going to select another ISO and click browse. Notice that now formatting shouldn't be selected. So I'm going to click browse. Again, it'll select it for me. And I'm going to click, I'm going to click create. Okay, so it finished again. So click next, yes. And uh, basically we need to replay, we need to repeat this process again until we finish adding all the distros that we want to add. I want to make sure, I want to mention that if you're going to add a, a pre-installed environment like bar PE or Hiren's boot CD, you need to come here to this section where it says, uh, let's see, other OS and tools and then select Hiren's boot CD pre-installed environment. All right, so I'm already finished uh, copying ISO images into my uh, USB drive, but before I boot off the USB flash drive, I want to go over a couple of things. So one is the fact that um, I want to mention the uh, the structure that Yomi creates on your flash drive, on your, on your USB flash drive. Um, it'll create a multi-boot folder. It'll create an EFI folder and a boot folder. Most of your distro will be copied into this multi-boot folder uh, if you come here you can uh, there are a couple uh, files that i want to mention one is this yummy.png that if you double click on it basically contains the uh, background of the menu when you first boot into yummy um, you're going to see this as the background so if you want to modify your background and add your custom background and this is a, uh, a file that you might want to replace and give it the same name Another file that I wanted to mention is this uh, sys linux uh, cfg. Uh, let's go ahead and open this. I'm going to open it in Sublime, but you can open it with Notepad. So this file is a configuration file contains uh, the menu, the initial menu that you're going to see when you first uh, when you boot into your USB flash drive. Notice that the menu is divided in three sections. Um, when you add too many uh, ISOs into your Yomi USB flash drive, uh, Yomi uh, divides the uh, the ISOs into categories. Notice that it creates one that is called System Tools. Uh, it creates another one for Hiren's Boot CD pre-install environment, and it creates another one for Antivirus Tools. Um, the name of the menu uh, that if you want to change the menu uh, is this. Uh, entry here that, that starts with menu label so if you want to change um, actually yes it's this one menu uh, menu label so if you want to change the uh, the label on your menu this is where you change it um, notice that here uh, system tools is pointing to a file which is this one system.cfg which is inside the menu which is inside multi-boot um, which is another configuration file, which is another menu or a sub-menu that we're going to open right now. So let's go inside menu and system.cfg and open it with Sublime. Uh, now here we can see all the ISOs that uh, Yumi considers to be system tools. Uh, the first one is uh, System Rescue CD. Um, and uh, here has uh, more information on how to start or how to boot off of that uh, ISO image. Okay, so one of the drawbacks of uh, Yomi is the fact that uh, you cannot test your USB uh, multi-boot installation. So you basically have to restart your computer. In this case, I'm going to use VirtualBox to test the installation. Um, so I've already made a... Um, uh, a copy of the USB drive. I, I clone it. I create an image of that of that drive. So I'm going to boot off that drive. So I'm going to start here. And there we go. So this is what we get. Um, so when, when we first uh, boot the computer, um, we have what I mentioned before, the system tools. We added uh, Hiren's boot CD. An antivirus. So if you click on, for example, the system tools, it'll take you to another sub menu where you have all the system tools, all the uh, system ISO that you install. 
And uh, that's as far as everything that I wanted to cover for this uh, video tutorial. I hope you guys find uh, this tutorial helpful. As always, remember to subscribe to support the channel. And uh, thanks for watching.